Hey guys, welcome to DevOps School. In this session, we are going to learn about Confluence. Confluence is a collaboration tool developed by Atlassian. It helps team to organize, discuss, and collaborate on their work. It can be installed on your desktop or accessed from the cloud, making it a great solution for all types of teams, including remote employees and mobile users. But before we begin, let me inform you a few things about us. DevOps School is one of the leading platform which offers DevOps, cloud and containers technology training and certification programs for freshers and established professionals who wish to update and consolidate their skills in the dynamic IT scenario. We ensure that the training solutions are delivered by highly experienced domain experts with practical working experience in various verticals. You can join our all training programs globally through online platforms and if you are looking for a classroom workshop then we have regular batches available in Hyderabad and Bangalore. Check out the dates and enroll with us for our upcoming batches. For more info, link and contact details are mentioned in the description below. Everything you know is so now I'm going to have this user perspective training for that. This is the URL. Now First thing I'm going to give access to the user one. So let me do that. In groups. users and I'm going to give access to the user one and I'm going to attach this to confluence users also so now this user will have a additional access this is a user one let me try user one one two three sign in now so I am uh, this time I'm using the confluence as a user uh, so here what I'm going to do look at this create now here you can create uh, your blank pitch here you can also create a space which I showed you uh, you can create a space here but I have already created a few space so I'm going to use that uh, for this so what are the things you can create as a user that I'm going to show you right now? So go to the home page again. Now I can create bank page, but which user space? So you can decide which user space you want to create. So by default, it is coming CTSX. So I'll go with it. Go with it. So here I create a blank page, and the blank page will be having nothing. You can design your content. So now this is a blank page and here you can create a content whatever you and I don't have to teach you this stuff because you know that how to you know board italic changing the paragraph insert the images page layout tables and you know more content you can uh, here you see that a lot of contents which you have it and these are coming from the mark markup actually macros so you can add the files and images links markup horizontal rules task list date all these options which you can add it here this you can add a table and the tables based upon the requirement okay and then uh, this is the image and links all this stuff and here this is the content and i create it so now after the creating a content here this is the content here you can edit again you can save it for the later as a fab you can watch you can if you are if someone else has written this content you can uh, you know watch uh, again you can share with the share links here again you have many options like you can find the attachment so here you have there is no attachment actually so you can do the attachment also 
here there's no attachment so that's the reason you don't have it and uh, uh, here age history so the number of time you modify so let me show you here so this is the first modification and after that here is the second modification i'm doing uh, second modification i updated and now you see here uh, age history this is you see v1 current v2 and stuff like that and then uh, page information here you have it you can know about the statistics about the page who has created what time it got created export as a word pdf you can you can copy this file and make it to other places also you can see this meta information as such so this is the one and resolved comments view one hierarchy view source you can export to the pdf and word you can see the import word documents from the so you can create a pages from the word document you can copy this file and new content will be created uh, so let's say i'm just putting the current page name sorry space here just a second and copy and current page name is blank copy so i create copy that file in fact you can move it that file also so here you have it so here you see that files got added so here back now you see that here this page got added blank page and now uh, you can uh, move also file from one place to on another place you can delete file also so many things which you can do it here same thing you can do with the blog also uh, you see here you can create a blogs blogs blog post finish so this is the publishing the blocks now again you can find there's something similar options here also uh, you have attachment page history you can restrict this page uh, to be accessible not by someone else so you can decide no restriction editing restriction view rest so those who's the owner of the page he will have such restrictions uh, again so now you see that automatically this uh, uh, is being created blog 2019 September so this is also you see uh, you can get these pages now let's say this is your blank page and here you want the child page to be created so here again you go here now you can take a decision on this whether you want the decision uh, sort of uh, content or as decision experience these are the template actually these are the template to create a uh, uh, blogs and pages so now let's say article name so article one you you can label it with anything let's say release one dot or something like that create Now, this is the article under. So now it's under the blank page. So save it. And this is the format you got get it. Now you see the blank page has got the article one. So if you click on this here, a blank page, here you can see that in the left side, page three, under the blank page, there's the article one. So each pages we create here, that is having those parent pages. So this is the way so now these are the template which you can see you can use it for the different different purposes so you don't have to design of uh, pages also because for the task report you want you can use this uh, uh, 
page retrospective you can use this page product and requirement you can use this page jira report you can use this page Mon health monitor you can use this page experience canvas uh, will be this one Passive decision blog post decision so all these are the templates actually which you have got it and using that you can create a uh, pages so now this is the page which you can create under the people also you can see that who is uh, doing what other people you can see that on your uh, dashboard who's doing what so basically there's a only one user so recently worked on so these are the things which i recently worked on recently visited these are the pages which i recently visited anything which you made it fast so there's nothing actually so what you what what you what you are going to do so you can create one fab so let me create a five year save for later and now if you go to the dashboard here save for later now it should update huh, it has come so article one is your fab now you can also uh, you know search in the filter also right now there is no much of the documents but you can filter also let's say you visited this is the four entry you have and you want to filter by blank so see this is the filter also it works here so many features which you have here which will make this knowledge sharing very effective now you want to find a content at the different spaces also that is possible so here you set you can decide which other spaces you want to find a content let's say cts document uh, here you as of now you have access that's the reason you are able to access so here also you can create a pages and rest of the things so there's a no welcome pages been created so i'm creating this welcome page now welcome to x space here and then now you see you can traverse between this space now as a developer content developer you can do all this stuff and finally you know uh, these are the markup language you can learn so do you have any questions so far which you feel i should answer right now Any questions guys okay so now i'm going to go to the profile section now in the profile section also there's so much of options which you have remember i have logged in as a user one so that way uh, you can uh, see many options what you can do so if you click here add personal space so right now you can add a personal space remember i have not added any space being a user one so this is the one space i have added user one's home so this is my personal space that is done now recently viewed recently worked on click on the profile you can change your profile so many things which you have in the under the profile also let's go start with the edit profile these are the name email address phone im and stuff like that locations you can update setting button you have so many options again password email editor gadgets and uh, here uh, network information you can follow that people so now let me follow the admin here i am following the admin now that way if you click on the profile uh, then uh, you can see that which people you are following so right now if i see user one and user one is having the profile and now see here uh, this is the user one activities which you've been doing and this is not a public view basically this is a edit view that's the reason you are not seeing the followers but you can see the followers also in the draft how many pages which you have not published so far so those are the things you can see that you can resume the editing or discard this editing editing also watch is so how many pages which you are watching so this is the watcher list uh, you can stop watching as well uh, save for latest you can create a fab and these are the list of tasks which is for main for you 
if some task which is assigned for you through the pages so that also it can be done for example how can we assign the task so if you go to let's create one task list so here i'll go for task report assigned to me assigned to my team or in a project or something like that you create task list assigned to here user one so this is the task i assigned to user one done so now you this task is assigned to user one now i'll go to the different browser and refresh and here assigned it to me uh, i don't have any signed task to complete let me check did it get refresh okay see here there's a problem here I created this task list and assigned to the user one but this task list is a part of my user space my own user space that is a mistake i did so i should have created under the cts so this is the again you see that this way you can get the task list again i have to create and and user one you can assign to multiple people also and include completed task this one then so now you can see this is a cts now let me see this user has a cts access or not so can i go here check the cts access i have it so let's go back and check the task and this is the assigned to me it's, it's not coming actually so i need to check the permissions also it should come here so let me check but again you can go other way around actually you can go to the cps space and click on the blank image and let me check the task okay which login I, which user i have logged in it should be i'm not able to see the task list here i can see history cts x and task 2 So this is the I'm just trying to locate that where is that task two is not accessible. so i can see this is the access which is given so i'll have to check this one okay so but anyways yep uh, so here you can go and rest of the things you can check it out here under the setting
okay yeah so i'm just checking this one here so again you can go to the setting button profile task i'm just still waiting for that should, should get replaced let me check here i added this task let me write something here okay i'll just check this one later and then come back because i have assigned this task it's accessible but still not getting updated so now uh, this is the things which you do and now under the notifications also here you have not written any notifications uh, question marks here and then now what else you can create here so again same thing uh, here depends on the requirement project requirement jira report meeting notes project poster share a link sorting articles all this thing you can create uh, now here saved for later watches drafts all these are self-explanatory so anything which you feel like uh, you have any questions specific questions which you want me to cover now here in uh, tools any any questions okay so now what i'm going to give it to you now i'm going to give you to your access for this machine only admin admin is the username admin one two three and multiple users are there which you can use user one two three user two user two one two three so this is the access now i'm going to push this access to the nodes and i'm going to give you some time so you can practice it okay origin master done okay so now this url in the chat window you can open up and uh, you can ask me any questions here because uh, many things we are here i feel is a self explanatory which can be by looking at it itself you will get that but yes some of the things which you, if you do not understand i'm i'll help you so please go through this uh, you have all the access right now to my server and i will uh, help you with that any questions whatever you have now i'll keep this server for 30 minutes before me getting into the different sessions okay uh, any questions you guys have you can uh, ask me this one Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries we will reply to them at the earliest want to study further subscribe to our paid membership to get a deep dive into each and every topic do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to our devops school channel and hit the bell icon to learn more keep learning